Mr. McDermott. It seems to me we've got we've got three problems here. People in China are addicting our people in, in America. People in America, or rather people in, in, in Mexico, are addicting the American people. And the United States government is addicting the American people. Mr. Senator Durbin talked to you about the current quota being 8 billion doses of opioids a year. Is that right? By his math, sir, yes. That's 25 Vicodin tablets for every man, woman, and child in America. Now, if I take 25 Vicodin over two weeks, I'm going to get addicted, aren't I? Probably, sir. Yeah. So we can agree, then, that the $8 billion is too high, right? Sir, uh, I would not agree on that. What I can say is that... Why not? Because it depends on the medical use, sir. I understand. 20, and the, we know what the medical use is. It's 25 Vicodin tablets for every man, woman, and child in America. You don't think that's too high? Sir, our quota is based on what we think is necessary for the medical use, as well as research, as well as exportation. And you think, that's at, you, we, you think we need every one of those Vicodin tablets? Sir, we're trying to do a balanced approach, but what I can tell you is I assure you I will work with your office and with Mr. Durbin's to ensure that we're You're, providing I, adequate. I, I, I'm on, I'm, Mr. McNerman, I'm, I'm not trying to be rude, but it, there, you reach a point where patience ceases to be a virtue. You're telling me we need eight billion, that's like nine zeros, doses of opioids per year for the American people, 25 for for Vicodin tablets, let's say, for every man, woman, and child. That's your testimony. We need every single one of them. Sir, I said what the quota that we have is appropriate for what we believe for the United States. And, and, and so, you, so you think that's what we need? The quota we believe is appropriate balanced for what I've discussed. Okay. I think you're saying yes. Is that right? Sir, what I, I... I don't speak BS. Okay. You're saying yes, right? Sir, we believe the quota is appropriate. Okay. All right, let me ask you this. You get information about what pharmacists are prescribing, right? Quarterly and, and, and uh, monthly in some cases? No, we, we get information on a quarterly and monthly basis what the manufacturer and distributors are distributing to the pharmacies. I think we just said the same thing. Uh, so if, if you see that a pharmacy in Bucksnort, USA, population 1,500, just subscribe, or prescribed 7,000 Vicodin tablets last month, that kind of tells you something, doesn't it? That's too many, right? Can we agree? We, they don't need, I mean, we can agree that's too many, right? Sir, if we had that data, which is what you're describing is the PDMP data, we have the data that goes to the pharmacy. We do not have the data that goes out. Well, why don't you go get it? Sir, we don't have that. We'd have to get that from the state. And if we could ask for your assistance, we need that. That would be a game changer. Well, it doesn't seem to me that this is real complicated. If a, if a pharmacist is writing scripts... For 5,000 Vicodin tablets in Bucksnort, when there are only 1,500 people, we got a problem. Duh. I agree with you. And so you send somebody in and you say, Mr. Pharmacist, who in God's name is prescribing all this? And then you stop it. And if you don't stop it, you punish them the rest of their natural lives. I would agree with you 100%. So why don't you do it? Because we don't have that data. You don't have the data. You don't have the data. Doc, let me ask you something. Now look your record up. You're a smart man. Yale, Howard. You've, you, you're telling me you've got to go out and educate doctors and pharmacists that if you take too many Vicodin tablets, you'll get addicted? You talked about evidence-based practices, 
you telling me that the average doctor in America doesn't understand that if you give somebody a six-month supply of Vicodin, they're going to get addicted? We got to educate him for that? What we're talking about, Senator, is enhancing medical school cur curriculum, uh, provider curriculum, so Doc, that it is addressed. Doc, I barely got through the part where you cut up the frog in biology. <laughs> and I know that if you give somebody a six-month supply of Vicodin, they're going to get addicted. Why don't we do something to the doctors that are doing this? They don't need evidence-based training. They've been to medical school. I'm over. Kennedy has asked for an additional 30 seconds. Yes, ma'am. Um, Mr. McDermott, I know you're new. I'd like you to write me a letter explaining to me in English why every man, woman, and child in America needs 25 doses of opioids every year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and doctor, let me say to you, I know you work hard at what you do. I have two brothers who are physicians, but doctors need to police themselves. You're not going to convince me that someone smart enough to go to medical school doesn't understand that if they give someone a six-month supply of Vicodin, they're going to get addicted, and the doctors need to police themselves. Okay. Thank you, Senator Kennedy.